last two minutes, and then we will request a representative to share to us what you've talked about or what are your plans. Okay, I'm sorry to cut your discussions, but time's up. Can you go back to your places, please, or rearrange your seats again, facing here? And then, please appoint one from your group to share to us about your plans. So I see here one, two, three, Six, seven groups. So there should be seven groups sharing. Jen Ad, hello. Okay, Jen Ad. Hi. 
there's really a challenge with the gen in the gen ad because it's it's a problem how they are going to integrate faith in learning in their services in the engineering in the dpo in the osh so let's listen to how are how they are going to do that the first one to finish the discussion is the library so let's request the library to share first and then nahuli yung gen ad so sila ang pangalawa okay so library gen ad tapos ano na sa inyo sir maintenance and urc motor pool and then we have the academic staff we have ay nagdalawa ang sso no akala ko door a dorm residences together hindi pala okay babae na sso and lalaki na sso and no more okay so shall we give a round of applause to the representative of the library Ay, wala pa. Sige, Jen Ad muna. This is Carissa, the young guest member in the Jen Ad. She served as secretary, now serving as the reporter. So, good, good morning po. I, we have... Um, six items here I will not present I will just um, summarize it all for you so we have in the Jed, Gen, general administration team we had six so first we wanted to appreciate the ornaments that we have or in every event po, it adds um, the ambient ambience in events and it will make um, the faculty and staff as well and all the part the persons involved to be to really feel what is the event that will be um, held for example our IFVL here at the back and also we also wanted to have an employee development um, tarp so we can also welcome and know what events are ongoing here in the Finster and also small tokens or a way of welcoming new employees in each department because we really recognize the importance of your service your ministry to AUP we wanted you to feel um, feel welcome as you work here in the university and also enhance the process orientation of new workers also to emphasize the pmv with the philosophy mission and vision of the university and then um mom penny our dpo in charge um shared challenges in consultancy so we have um we wanted to also integrate um, sharing of five, at least five Bible verse that we can prepare when we have consultancy, whether it may be on phone call or face-to-face -face, um, consultancy in your office. You can also mitigate um, five or integrate five verses at the end of each consultation. So it will still be redirected to our Bible-based foundation. And it can also be... Um, integrated and adapted in each department and also enhance and promote CES involvement in each department wait long thank you so much shall we give a round of applause to Carissa thank you for sharing that so you are actually telling that uh, the participants here from the gen ad will now be involved in the community and extension services yes because that's it, that is exemplary, no? And I realize that what you've mentioned, strategies here, are also, you know, not only targeting our students, but also our employees, the faculty and staff. Le yes, let us not forget, dear friends, dear colleagues, that in the university setting, it's not only the students that that you know that we 
that we are that we should show or give integration of faith in learning we also give to each other naisip ko ba ah, sige mamaya na lang <laughs> okay the next one is andyan na po ang library okay motor pole muna Ano kayang gagawin pag nagde-drive, no? Okay, shall we give a round of applause also? Uh, good morning. Um, I'm sending you representing maintenance, motor pool, and uh, one from the PE department. Uh, since uh, we are neighbors and we almost work together, okay, most of our experiences are almost the same. So, uh, since we are located at a location uh, that is at the peripheries of our university, uh, sabi natin, nasa dulo na kami ng bakod, uh, malapit, dikit na kami sa bakod. So, uh, usually our interactions with our students is limited compared to those in our academy or those working in academics. Uh, our interactions are only when okay, uh, our services, uh, the services we offer, uh, would have people uh, in the vicinity. Let's say we will be working in the dormitories, like repairing or or replacing some broken parts. And if some of the residents would be there, then that is okay, when we could get interactions. So our interactions are limited and sporadic. So, uh, like examples we were talking about, uh, we, we have two representatives, re representatives from the motor pool, and in, in their work as drivers, uh, oftentimes, uh, you would encounter a lot of people and a lot of personalities on the road. And uh, we, you know, lately, if you've been listening or you've been watching the news, there's a lot of news about road rage. And in some ways, okay, we encounter that. I, I just drove just this weekend and uh, you could experience drivers cutting in front of you. And the thing is, how would you react to that if someone, okay, someone gave you a negative reaction? So uh, in totality, what we say is our projection of uh, what, uh, how we know Christ in our lives, how we in integrated Christ in our lives. So how we treat others, how we interact to the negative experiences that we have. Say, so we don't have to swear, we don't have to use bad language, uh, we don't have to, like, say, react to the other drivers aggressively on the road. We say, just let it slide, let it pass. Uh, so we have to, let's say, uh, offer a lot of uh, patience in dealing with negative experiences. Uh, one experience I could say is, uh, like sometimes in a day, we would experience a lot of emergencies. And by the time we go to the last emergency, we're tired, we're hungry. And oftentimes, we might not be aware that we project irritation, especially when we treat others. I say the, the, the language that we use, the tone that we use, sometimes can project negative emotions. So we have to be mindful of how we act. As Christians and as workers here in the university, uh, we have to know Christ before we could project him. So as, uh, what you call this, as workers here, it is also our responsibility to grow our spiritual lives uh, in getting to know Jesus better so that others will see Jesus in us. Okay, this is a totality of uh, uh, what, what, what was all this. Uh, just living your life as a Christian, uh, the way you interact, the way, the way you speak, the way you joke. Oftentimes when we get together, our, our jokes are kind of like uh, below the belt, but let's taper it, especially when we have working students around us. So uh, let us temper our, our, what do you call this, our behavior with what Christ wants us to live our lives. Uh, so, uh, as support workers in the university, uh, I encourage all of you to 
live your lives as what Christ wants us to live, like, like project Christ. Uh, as we internalize him into our lives. Uh, there were a lot of things that needed to be discussed, but because of the lack of time, other, other things, other finer points uh, were, were not discussed. So let's say just, just live with it, let's continue. And uh, uh, work, the work of salvation in, in the work here in the university, not like just teaching, but also in the work how we support academics thank you so much we have a second service <laughs> thank you sir okay moving on and then paul library lapa oh sige mga female from sso i say ma'am henny Good morning po sa lahat. Sa lahat po ng departments, sa student services po ang pinaka lahat na nandyan, challenging, enjoyable. I'm happy to serve sa mga students. So sa ating napag-aralan po, sa contextual, ay present naman po ang aming office, ang SSO, na pag pumasok po doon ang student, ay ang aming office po ay laging malinis organized, well-ventilated, at relaxing pag sila po ay pumunta po sa ating office. So, may mga gusto pa po kaming baguhin or, or, or i-add sa maganda naming environment doon na magkakaroon po kami ng mga quotations at saka yung mga posters doon na related pa sa COVID, we will change it to Bible verses or inspirational sayings or quotes like that. At mga frames, nakabudget na po yon So, unti-unti lang. So, pag naglagay po kami ng requisition, ang justification po ay IFVL uh, ano, uh, in the workplace. So, siguradong a-approve yun. <laughs> so, sa illustrative naman po, ay may experience po ng mga students doon na lagi po kaming may teamwork. We always cover for each other. At uh, masaya po kaming naglilingkod doon sa aming mga students. Anytime, kahit susubo ka na ng lunch mo, ay may papasok pa doon, magpa-process, magpa-pirma ng ganito. But we never denied anybody there. Kahit anong oras, kahit bit-bit mo na yung bag mo palabas, ay may sasalubong ma'am, ganito. So, we always give priority sa ating mga students. At saka, um, experiential, yung personal interrelationship namin. Lahat po ng level ng students dyan, whether they are full-time, graduate, or working student, or scholars, or whoever, we treat them the same. Minsan nga, yung mas uh, lowly pa nga, like mga working students, ay mas binibigyan pa po sila ng mga importance. Kasi siyempre, may mga binibigay pa sa kanilang mga ayuda at saka mga whatever, yung makakatulong po sa kanila. So, ang office po ng SSO ay laging bukas po sa pag-assist, sa pagtulong sa lahat po ng ating students in all levels. At makikita naman po nila yan na may good relationships po kami. At saka, ano pa mga ladies, kahit sa dorms at mga nagagandahang mga residence uh, deans ay lagi pong 24-7 sa kanilang mga students dahil sila po ay nagsisilbing mga ina at ama sa kanila. So, sa declarative po, SSO serves uh, our students 24-7 so they can really say it is, AUP is home away 